Hello guys, welcome back to Macout Smashers and in today's video we are diving into the chapter 4 of our project management and entrepreneurship series. The information. This chapter is crucial as we explore the various resources and support systems available for entrepreneurs. We will cover the government incentives for entrepreneurship and the role of incubation and the acceleration programs and for the funding options like bootstrapping, crowdsourcing and angle investor. We will also discuss the government of India's efforts to promote the entrepreneurship and the innovation through initiatives like SISI, KVIC, DGFT, SIDBI and more. Understanding these resources can be a game changer for your entrepreneurial journey. So let's get started and see how you can leverage them. At first, the government incentives for entrepreneurship. The Indian government has introduced the various incentives to foster the entrepreneurship, recognizing its potential to drive the economic growth and innovation. These incentives include the tax, exemption, subsidies, and grants that help to reduce the financial burden on startups. The schemas like Startup India offer the tax holidays and easier the compliance processes. Additionally, the government provides the support for research and development through the programs like Atal Innovation Mission. These incentives aim to create a favorable environment for startups to thrive, encouraging more individuals to venture into entrepreneurship. By reducing the initial risk and offering the financial support, the government is playing a pivotal role in nurturing the entrepreneurial ecosystem in India. Now, Incubation and Acceleration Incubation and acceleration programs are vital for nurturing the early stage startups, offering them the necessary resources and mentorship to grow. Incubators typically provide the office space, the administrative support and access to a network of advisors, helping startups in their initial stages. Accelerators, on the other hand, are more focused on scaling the businesses quickly, often providing the seed funding and intensive mentorship. These programs are crucial for startups to refine their business models, develop the prototypes, and prepare for market entry. In India, numerous incubation centers and accelerators are supported by both the government and the private sector, aiming to accelerate the growth of innovative startups and help them, help them to become the sustainable businesses. So now, funding the new ventures, bootstrapping, crowdsourcing, and angle investor. Funding is the one of the most critical challenges for the new ventures. Bootstrapping involves the self-funding or using the personal saving to start a business, giving the entrepreneur the full control by limiting resources. Crowdsourcing, on the other hand, involves raising the small amounts of money from a large number of people, typically through online platforms, and is a great way to validate an idea and build a community around it. Angle investors are fulfilled are affluent individuals who provide the capitals for startups in exchange for ownership equity or convertible debit. They not only bring in funding but also valuable mentorship and networking opportunities. Each of these funding methods has its advantages and drawbacks and entrepreneurs are often use a combination of this to finance their ventures. So now the government of India's effort at promoting the entrepreneurship and the innovation SS, SISI, KVIC, DGFT, SIDBI, Defense and Railways. The government of India has launched the several initiatives to promote the entrepreneurship and innovation across the various sectors. The Small Industries Service Institute SISI provides the consultancy services, training and assistance to small and medium entrepreneurs under enterprises. The Khadi and Village Industries Commission KVIC supports the rural entrepreneurship through the promotion of traditional industries KVIC. The Directorate General of Foreign Trade DGFT facilitates the export promotion and provides the incentives to exporters. The Small Industries Development Bank of India 
SIDBI offers the financial assistance to MSME through the various schemes. Additionally, sectors like defense and railways are opening up to private players, offering the significant opportunities for innovation and entrepreneurship. These efforts collectively aim to create a robust ecosystem that encourages the innovation, job creation, and the economic growth. So at the end of the video, thank you for joining me on Macout Smasher for Chapter 4 Information. Today we have explored the vital resources available to entrepreneurs including the government incentives, the incubation, the acceleration and the various funding options. We also discussed the significant efforts made by the government of India to promote the entrepreneurship through the initiatives like SISI, KVIC, DGFT and SIDBI. I hope you have gained the valuable insights on how to leverage these resources for your entrepreneurial journey. In our next video, we will move on to the chapter 5, Closing the Window, where we will discuss how to seize the opportunities before they pass. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay updated. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. Keep exploring and I will see you in the next video.